I'm 14 and 0, been banging your name since I was out here, bruh. The jump is here. What's up everyone? We're here on day one, fight week, Bellator 228. Uh, it's an interesting day here on day one. This is when we kind of get a feel for how everyone's looking on fight week, where their weights are at, where the reach is at, just how did the camps go, signing them in, getting all the paperwork and all that stuff done. But it's really the beginning of the big show which happens on Saturday and it's gonna be amazing. You guys don't wanna miss it. Yo, if you do my guy, yeah? Daniel Rachel, Rachel. I, I hit him up. Yeah, fuck his hair up. He just, just cut his sort of business into the back of his head or some shit. Boy champ needs to be looking fresh like me. Young, dominant, hungry, motivated, coming to take over that Bellator featherweight division, best believe. Damn right, he don't want to be around me. Every time he looks at me, he has fear. You're a 45 pound champ and a 55 pound champ, you're fighting a 35 pounder? Hold on, let's not even talk about who he's fighting. How are you gonna call out Khabib? I'm 14 and 0, been banging your name since I was out here, bruh. You know what it is, bro, your time is coming. But my time is now. This mother is crazy. I afraid of what? I'm here, he's, he's right there. F this mother I feel like AJ could have done better with this suit. I don't know if you got it from Express on the sale. But he wasn't even wearing a suit. That part! He keeps wearing that same thing over and over, so I'm, uh, after this fight, I'm gonna take him out and show him how to really dress up. <laughs> Man, Georgie's funny. Granted, I dethroned the champ. I want those challenges ahead of me, and I'm fully capable of taking on anything that comes my way. I don't have a message for him. I have a message for the entire featherweight division of Bellator. I will come and smash each and every one of you. Oh, you know who to pick. It's just see if you pick me, boy. Hey, you know what I'm after. You ain't got what I want. Fucking clown. Let's see if McKee picks me. We'll see about that. Uh, if I get that ball, let's see if I pick him. Well, I bet my whole purse he doesn't pick me. I saw a soul that I can take. I don't know what I saw, but I can tell you what he saw. He saw that I will dominate him tomorrow night, that I'm the most confident fighter that he will ever face. What do you see when you look into his eyes? He's ready to go too. The two guys are gonna go out there, put it all on the line for the fans and get after it. He's a bitch. What? I'm trying to defuse shit. He looking at me stupid. wrapping my fighter's hands, I like to again recite the game plan, just go through things that we need to work on, things that we need to be aware of, and also again take care of the fighter's hand because the fight could go 25 minutes or 15. But either way, make sure you're ready. Preparation up to this point is, is really about game planning and, and being consistent with, with understanding distance and timing. Um, so we just consistently run those same things over and over and over, getting prepared for that and building this confidence in the process. Uh, what I was doing basically was taking them through a methodical calculated dynamic oxygenation hormone called a spleen dump. It's going to dump the red blood cells out of his body, and at that point in time, the adrenaline is going to follow. We're going to empty the adrenaline, we're going to relieve the carbohydrate substrate, and we're going to put him in a beta oxidation so his body can go forever. I uh, just finished his warm up. He was just uh, sharpening all his tools, getting ready for every uh, predicament he could be in, and uh, we're ready to go. I think I'm more nervous cornering. Uh, my, my good friends, you know, my brothers, then when I fight, because you know, when I fight, I just, I just go, you know, balls to the wall. You know, I have nothing to lose when I fight, but when they fight, I have no control over it. You know, I can't go out there and throw a punch or throw a kick, or all I can do is yell and hope, hope he listens. So, you know, 
you know, fingers are crossed, he trains hard, so hopefully we get that win. I would say uh, tonight Patrice is in war mode. There's a one million dollars on the line, and he's willing to chop heads off to get it. And now, the defending Bellator WWE World Champion, Patricio Pitbull. Good evening, Inglewood. Tonight we are giving the fighters that Tinseltown treatment and providing a stage that could impact their destiny. I'm ready. You're ready. He's ready. Don't even start the clock. Don't Who? even. Excuse me, where will he be fighting? Flawless victory, December. Let's get it. Whoever won it, winner, winner, chicken dinner. I'm ready to cook them up in a pot. All right, you, uh, you got into it last uh, yesterday with Santa. Uh, I'm curious, there's no opponent now. Who would hey. you like to call Pick me. You said pick me, ball's in your court, player. What's up? Let's go to the truth. And it now is out of the kid porch. All right, Adam. Where would you like to? in January. January. Oh! Here we are. The Wolf Caldwell. Jeff, please. <laughs> All right, Darion. Where would you like to see your name placed? I'm gonna fight next March of 2020. I'm only getting better, baby. All right, Darian Caldwell will be fighting March. Let's go! We had in mind to go with February, but anyway, we have to be ready for anybody in this division. And then, Emmanuel and Matador Sanchez make your way down to Jan Brown. Emmanuel Sanchez, who will you be fighting in the Featherweight World Grand Prix? I'll be fighting Daniel Vichel in February. Hey, go on, you fucking clown. Let's see if McKee picks me. Let's see if I'll pick, uh, if I get that ball. Let's see if I pick him. Well, I bet my whole purse he doesn't pick me. Daniel Vichel. Okay. A bit of a surprise, I think. Uh, AJ McKee called you out. What went into the decision to fight in February? He knows he didn't beat me. That's why. And now we have a better chance to prove it right here in this featherweight Grand Prix. And don't worry, boy. I'll get you soon. I want you to win the belt. I want you to stay undefeated, because I'm going to see you in the end. And you're going to get that one. Derek, who would you like to face in the next round? Well, Jim, I'm going to bring that West Texas scratch in December. I'm going to see the fight. I'm going to see the fight. 
Who wants to fight me? Oh, he's saying who wants to fight him. <laughs> who are you going to face in March? We have two guys in there. Who, who there would you like to fight? Who wants to fight me? <laughs> who? You? Who are you? you? You are a loser. Pedro Cavallo. I told you, he switched it. He's a bitch. What? What are you talking about, bro? I actually think it played out exactly how I thought it would. Where Patricio would back out from a tough fight against me, myself, AJ, and Boris. He doesn't want to fight us three. These are three fights that he's he's shying away from right now. Hey, believe me. Look hey. at him. He's not fucking. Look at him, bro. Hey, I'm telling you, mate. Yeah. He's not like that, bro. Yeah, bitch, you can fight me. Yeah. It's not amazing. He's like you running now. Why are you scared? Yeah, I think he was strategic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I'm trying to defuse and he looking at me stupid. I'ma show up every night and make it happen. Look for the wolf to be a millionaire by the end of 2020.